Well, I knew Dave, uh, Dave Snyder, the writer director of the film, um, for quite some time. He's actually directed a few music videos of mine, and uh, we become pretty close friends and respected each other's talent uh, on down the line. And he had mentioned that he was very interested in doing a feature film, uh, but he had to just make the preparations and uh, finish writing the script and get it to where he wanted it to be uh, before he actually shot it. And uh, a year later, I guess, a year in the making, maybe a little longer even, um, he said he was ready and he gave me a call and said he had a part for me. I think, I think the most difficult thing um, about my scenes and what I had to do was actually to really, really fine tune and discover who Rick Fields was. I think in the beginning I had an idea of who he should be and I think midway through the shoot, I think I really hit the stride of who, who he was, you know. I think early on I was still, you know, kind of vacillating between uh, is he this or is he that. And I thought I really had it, but um, I think I hit the stride, you know, I think the second um, week of shooting when I came down there and said, okay, now I got it, I got who this guy is. So You know what the easiest part for me was the fight scene? Because I, I, I actually love, you know, the combat and I like the... Uh, I like the uh, the battle, you know. I really enjoyed it, you know. See, in a fight scene, when you hold back and when you, you know, when you try and do things or half speed or whatever, that's when somebody gets a broken nose or you know a tooth knocked out or something. But if you got two guys that can really mix it up, and you say, okay, this is what we're gonna do. These are the moves. I'm gonna grab you. You push me off. You take me, slam me into the wall. I mean, we did that. I mean, at the end of the fight scene, man, you know, I had the elbow. He had the gigantic bruise on his shin, you know, I had the, the, the thigh, you know, we, we busted each other up pretty bad, but that was the easiest part, and that was, that was probably the most enjoyable part for me. And this is for me, the worst part of the shoot is, is when it's over, you know, because I love to explore the craft, I love to work. So I love to be in it, I love to be in the moment, I love to work with the other actors, I love to take direction from the director, and um, I, love to dis I love the discovery process. So the worst part of any shoot for me really is, is when it's over. It's always, it's always a process. It's always a learning, learning process and that's what you want to do. You want to um, take away, um, from, it, from any project you work on, you want to take away the potential to do it better the next time. So that's what we did and I think that, um, I think that went all the way around, not only myself, but you know, Dave and the other actors and, and just everybody involved. I think that's the biggest thing. You take away from any project the potential to do it better the next time.